So today we're going to be taking a look at the Fordham SR flex shaft. Uh, so let's get to it. So in the box you get the Fordham owner's manual, which tells you all about it and how to look after it, how to lubricate the uh, shaft and everything. Also the Fordham handpiece and chuck key. Here's the chuck key. And the handpiece is a six mil handpiece. So here's the foot pedal and the flex shaft motor. Uh, it looks to be a really nice solid piece of kit, really heavy and well made. Right, okay, so let's take a look at this flex shaft rotary tool from Fordham. This is the SR series. So we've got a switch on here. In the center, it's powered off. If you press to the left, it goes forwards. If you press to the right, it goes in reverse. <coughs> this thing is really heavy. Um, it's really well made. It's all die cast, I'd say aluminium. Yeah, but it's really heavy piece of kit. I should say it's probably at least two kilos in weight. And there's not a lot else on here. There's just the ports for the, if you want to replace the brushes at any time when you need to do that. You've got the metal hanger on here. So you're able to hang it and then there's just the power cord coming out the back. And then the fixing for the flex shaft there. The, this bit here is made out of plastic. And then we've got the flex shaft, which is uh, PVC on top of uh, a metal um, liner with the shaft going through that. And then on the other side, we have the handpiece, which is easily released to be able to install different handpieces, which are readily available and very inexpensive to buy like these hand pieces here so this one here is a lever action 2.35 millimeter hand piece so you can just operate this lever here to lock and unlock the tool that you put in there and then also there's smaller size hand piece with a smaller drill chuck on which you can also get which is also a nice addition. I bought these myself off uh, banggood.com. I'll put a link in the description to them. Uh, the shaft is actually got a little key on it. If you see that, so you do have to kind of just jiggle it around a little bit and then push it in and you're ready to go. <coughs> the chuck on this is a zero to six millimeter chuck. So that means you can put basically any rotary tool bit in here that you want um, including uh, larger uh, die grinder bits like this so this is a six mil die grinder bit and this will easily power it i'll just quickly test some large and small bits out so here's a small burr here for carving wood or soft metals and it's very easy to use with the foot pedal, which is uh, really nice and it operates really smoothly. <coughs> and this thing's got a lot more power than your average Dremel. It's a really good quality tool, this is. So you can also use larger tools, which you would uh, use in an air die grinder, and it's easily got enough power. Here's that large carbide burr.
Just using a small carbide burr here to clean up before welding. Obviously they also work really well on wood. Yeah, so there we go, that's the uh, Fordham SR series flex shaft. Um, yeah, really good quality tool, uh, well made. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot better than a Dremel. It's got tons of power, uh, yeah. Really like it. Uh, there's not a lot I can say bad about it, really. Uh, I don't think there is anything bad about it. It does what it says. I suppose the only thing would be is that the foot pedal is plastic. Probably be nice if it was uh, made out of uh, pressed steel. But apart from that, uh, yeah, really like it. Really good quality tool, yep, so I'll put a link in the description to this. Uh, yeah, go take a look at it. It's uh, reasonably priced for what it is, I think. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below. Bye.